Good morning, everybody. We got a beautiful Monday morning here. We are here with the Sports Port Episode 5. I'm the usual suspect, PJ, along with Tam and JPO. And we got our super producer, but he is no longer on camera. We gave him the uh, behind the scenes role today. Mike Theophil, what's going on? How's hey it guys. going? Hey, boys. Happy to have JPO back. I missed his sexy face. Yeah, we missed you <laughs> on Friday, you know? Yeah. Got to take care of some things. Got to go do some. Big uh, move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to go mark things off the checklist, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but to mark things off our checklist, we're going to start things off with a game seven last night, another one in the MLB postseason Braves Dodgers. It was an exciting game. To it, watch. Was. it was. It was. What are your thoughts? Dodgers did advance. They faced the yeah. uh, Tampa Bay Rays in the World Series, in which they are favored for that they matter. They should be. They definitely should be. Obviously. Do you think it's going to be kind of an easy win for them, or do no. you think the Rays are going to put up a fight? No, I think the Rays will definitely put up a fight. I see. I think it'll go. It'll least. go seven. I you think, gonna, you think we're going to see another seven? Yeah. I was in which Dodgers and that six. that pitching staff for both teams are going to be tested. I think the I think the Dodgers may go down first before they go up. Mm. Oh, Stick like with that fall. little comeback mentality. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Go down like O two. Yep, and come back. I mean, they were but down two I mean, zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. And then they. I, that's why I'm surprised. Like it wasn't the typical Dodgers story that we've seen the last few seasons. Well, they Mookie get, brought, brought that winning, that catch, that, the, the DNA. winning mentality from, from the Sox. The yeah. DNA. From the Sox. Fuck the Sox. <laughs> Fool them. No, but lit. the Dodgers. The Dodgers are a strong team. I mean, both teams yeah. across the board have been. You know, really showing out this postseason, so it should be interesting to see those two kind of clash. It was yeah. great to see fans in the stands. Oh, oh I love awesome. it! I yeah. love it. I mean, they both are, for this matter, all aspects of sports did a great job with that whole yeah. artificial crowd noise. But nothing beats the real deal. No, no and seeing not. you know, seeing people actually attend these games and be able to try and catch their, their team, home run balls, catch their home run yeah. balls, you know, do the whole yeah. the whole nine that goes into attending a baseball game is yeah. unbelievable. Absolutely, because you you're definitely losing that the the completeness of the sport when you take the fans. Oh yeah, out. agreed, 120 percent. I mean, and also too, who knows that that could have played a, a part in the Dodgers win last night, having the crowd there. Yeah, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. I mean, fans. I'm sure there's more Dodgers fans there than than Braves fans because oh for sure are they in no they're playing in Texas they're, they're in Arlington okay then I believe no, and that doesn't hold yeah true. sorry. Um, but I mean, <laughs> either way, either way, though, you would, think, you would think you would think Dodgers, Dodgers fans flew. travel well. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, for oh, the yeah. success that they've been having the past couple of years. Yeah, yeah. it was the American League like the playing Yankees. in Cali, right? Yes, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. yeah. yes. Yep. Okay. they're in San Diego. But, um, That's right. No, the dot they look good. Bellinger obviously hit that go-ahead home run in the seventh. That was huge. That, yep. was, that ended up being the. Uh, that was run. the winner. That was the, that was the winner Robert right there. So. Mookie sure making was, the home boys. run catch. Yeah, Mookie had oh, that. Oh, Freddie Freeman. Yeah. That was Huge. unbelievable. What was it, a 3-2 game at that point? Something like that. It was, yeah, it was, that's, yeah, that's the game. Either way, it's a big-time catch because in the end, they won by one run. Yeah. Yeah. Think about Defense. it. If that run goes over the over the wall, They're going it's up. a tag game. It was actually crazy how he timed it. He wasn't like he was waiting for it. He just jogged with it the whole way and just yeah, and jumped at li- literally. It was a really exactly. impressive. He's moment. an athlete. Yeah, yeah. He he's is. an athlete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. Whether absolutely. it's whether it's at the plate or in the field, he does what he has to do, and yeah. he does it at a very high level. It's good to see him doing it in L.A. and not Boston. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I love yeah. I love nothing more than that. him out of Boston, honestly. Yeah. Facing yep. him, out of the AL, just facing him that many times a year is never, was never fun. No. Um. Shifting gears, NFL. We had a lot of matchups yesterday. We have actually two tonight. Yeah. In oh, the yeah. sense of one oh. starts at five o'clock, the and Bills both games is going to be great. Both games are set yeah. to be, you know, pretty good. You got, like we were saying, Bills Chiefs, which is you know two of the top AFC teams right now. So it should be a battle yeah, between be two quarterbacks who are. We're gonna you see. Know, we're gonna see Josh some Allen. Of the top. Well, he's made up. Today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if mm-hmm. he doesn't show up, then that answers a lot of questions as well. Yeah. And then even in the second game, you got Arizona and Dallas. Yep. You got a That'd team like good. Dallas who completely got everything stripped from them last week in the sense of yeah. the whole Dak industry. In, in yeah. Game. Who's their backup? Andy, Andy Dalton. Dalton. Well, Andy Dalton. <laughs> yes, that definitely deserves that. Andy Dandy Dalton. <laughs> oh, my the soul, God. The soulless Andy Dalton. Seriously. <laughs> Was there never anyone made to be drafted to the Bengals other than him? Dude. <laughs> no, like he looks like, like a bangle. He does. <laughs> it was they, like, you take that they helmet made off, a lot of like, runs. He doesn't need that helmet. Team. When he had he the just needs to grow his head he bigger. Look the same. <laughs> Get a thicker skull on them. <laughs> yeah, they they made a lot of runs with Do that some Wolverine team. Though. They just never were able to X-Men get over the hump. Surgery on yeah, it with the, with the Bengals. Yeah, but no, the, these games tonight will be good. Um, 
Arizona, Dallas, that'll be interesting. I think Kyler Murray's going to throw all over Dallas. I think they're going to. Yeah. I'm talking the to your mic, Tam. I think this is your first gonna, day. Uh, Jesus. Are going to uh, mm. obliterate the Cowboys. You think yeah. Arizona? Yeah. I don't think it's going to be that good of a game, to be honest with you. I think that uh, <laughs> the Cardinals are going to tear them up. Yeah, no, I agree. It's, it's not going to be fair. It's going to be interesting. I mean, Andy Dalton has to kind of prove himself once again with all those years in Cincinnati it kind sucks. of being a, a waste for that matter. Yeah. Um, but that first game is kind of what raises my attention in the sense of these are two of the front runners that a lot of teams are this could be a kind of scared of slash game. people are kind of saying as the teams to be still alive at the end, right. uh, whether it's the AFC championship slash advancing to the Super Bowl yeah. or vice versa. Or if they meet like in the first or second or the right. Yeah. Uh, pending on seating. But mm, yeah, yeah, what do we think about those kind of speculations and what is actually on the line for tonight's game? Well, I think they have two different things to prove, right? Like Mahomes has to prove that he's going to be a legend, right? And Josh has to prove that he's actually going to be a Super Bowl winning quarterback or at least, you know, going to be that there. caliber. Yeah. yeah, that caliber of quarterback, right? Yeah, so it's no, two I, different two different levels, I think. Yeah, I mean, Josh Allen is is playing. He's got to be in the mindset you think where he's like, "This is a big game in my career." The, you know, th- this could be one of those games like where you look back on the guy's career and say, "You know, how do you perform against teams like Kansas City and other AF- like the Titans too?" It could be like another matchup. So he's looking to prove himself, and and so then the narrative will change to, "Okay, Josh Allen can." Go toe to toe with the big boys like Mahomes and Lamar Jackson and things like that, and then Russell um, Wilson. Russell Wilson. Then, yeah, Mahomes is just looking to keep. He is a legend already. And I is, would say is Bell playing? He's adding to the legend. I, I think, Bell's I think he yeah. is. I yeah, believe yeah. so. But in the sense of it's almost a way of he's kicking off his legacy, realistically, because this is the first actual chance the Bills probably had for a while now. And it's his, what, third or fourth season in yeah, the system. So it's like, yeah. Third. So it's like he needs this is the to year. start writing that legacy yeah, right now. now. Yeah. Yeah. And it starts with winning games like this yep. earlier on in the season where, you know, you're four and one, they're four and one. You got to kind of create some separation or at least yeah. you have to start now because come later in the season, teams are playing even harder than they yeah. are now. Absolutely. And they're fine tuning all those little little it's in, beast, it, it's in parts that are wrong with their team. So games like this are kind of big, especially in the time frame that it is right now. Yeah, because yeah, the, the Bills can easily win their division, I feel. I mean, after the Patriots' oh, performance definitely. yesterday. Right? Which I love to see. Yep. Hey, I don't like that too. I'm don't count out, out. Don't count out those Dolphins, though. Oh, oh my Jesus Christ. Come on now, Fitzmagic. <laughs> Tua got, his, Tua got his first appearance yesterday. Yeah, that but team's winning year. games, though. You know, yeah, they are winning two. games, and they're they're sticking around yeah. in that in that division. When they weren't winning games, like a few years ago, who was their coach? Who, yeah, I would have said I was just. Thinking. That's weird, Tam. Who do you know? I think I think that Gass? question's more for um for Mike Michael Adam 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 Adam, Adam. Adam. Gase 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 Gase. Case. Oh. oh, it's Adam. Oh, Adam it's the Gates. Jets coach. Right. Oh, right, 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 right. that's so oh, that weird. That makes more sense now. So it's yeah. so I see weird. What we're doing so here. the Jets <laughs> are now trash, even more trash than the Dolphins were back then. <laughs> they right. hired a losing coach. And the, <laughs> yeah. Dol- and the Dolphins are now that's better so because Jets. they got rid of the Gates. trash coach. <laughs> right. Holy shit. Dude. Wow. Is that like one plus what one equals equation? two? So we were just talking about that's before like, we started getting on, on the mic. Now. That uh, the Jets are on track to to uh, draft Trevor Lawrence next year, yeah. and I was saying that that would be the worst move for Trevor Lawrence's career. <laughs> to I mean, signed to that organization. I, say. And I mean, happens. we can't deny that it's true. We've had young quarterbacks for the past forty years, and every time, none of them pan out. They die. Yeah, literally. That would be interesting to see what they end up going doing with Jets. Sam Darnold. It's like if going that to the does grave happen. if you're a quarterback. Yo, li- literally. You want four different offensive coordinators in four years? Dude. Come to the Jets. Crazy. That's like going to the Browns. Crazy. No, it's they're, worse they're, now. They're so it dysfunctional. Worse, but... They're so dysfunctional, the Jets. It's crazy. Like they, like Greg Williams, the defensive coordinator, saying the team is trash. And then the head coach is going on saying that he's pissed at the defensive coordinator for saying the team is trash. <laughs> It's all trash. It's, it's, it's like, all trash. It's a, it's a mess over there, definitely, it for is. sure. I mean, they're, they're a long way from kind of 
becoming a competing team. And dude, I think I think it's Clemson just would be able to beat them. No, 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 no. You no, can't no, no. I, see, I've that, had that, that argument that before. Argument, that argument yeah, never they, works. They definitely no. wouldn't. They definitely wouldn't. But I'm just saying, it's you could say that about the Jets, where you'd be like, I think college team can beat this fucking. Yeah, team. but in the That's end, like, like the Jets are still professional. Yeah, still you could have yeah. said that yeah. about any like, winless team in the NFL. Like, like the Lions yes. were for like, years. That, yeah, for a while. Yeah, they were. And like, and I would say that I'm me and my friend no. would, would would talk about that. I was like, I think the uh, you know Alabama could yeah. beat them at that time. It was like, there's no fucking way. Yeah, no, that, that was happen. like when the Suns were bad in the NBA. Like people saying like they beat they think Kentucky. No, be able to beat. obviously I, not. We the know. thing is, but I'm saying, <laughs> no, what, I, what <laughs> I'm saying is, what I'm saying is though, the Jets are now in that joke conversation. Oh right? yeah. Oh for sure. I feel like it's different for basketball compared to the NFL though. Actually, I think taking a college football team, putting them, putting them up against a pro football team is different than a co- college team. I'll rebuttal that. So bar- shout out the Red Rocket, Brian Scalabrini. Uh, a couple years ago when he was like maybe his last year with the Celtics around that time, he was like at the end of his career. He started a show on YouTube. It's actually hilarious. He's very funny. And he would play. He called he challenged he's you know he's like the worst player in the league right brian scalabrini especially his end of his career calls out all d1 top players like let's play one-on-one he beat them all they didn't even score yeah okay uh, they didn't even score yeah <laughs> I it's may be it's different. It's, I'm it's probably a different wrong here. Difference. i'm probably, probably wrong like, dude it just comes down even to from high idea. school to college it's like <laughs> i think there's more of a yeah. chance maybe mm-hmm that's with fair, basketball, that's the thing with I'm football, not saying it's going to happen that they're going to beat the pro pro team at all. But there's there, there's it might be a little bit more competitive because of the speed of the game and anyway, yeah. dude could get hot. I could see that. It just comes down to the whole idea of that these pro athletes are just bigger, faster, more athletic, stronger, yeah. stronger, faster. But anyway, the Jets are trash. Those. That's where yeah. I mean, yeah, no. and <laughs> coming and back and around, and yeah. and in the result, the Jets are yeah. in need of some work. To be done to that organization before they are contender yeah, they're again. Always gonna, they're always gonna need work. Though. Yeah, yes. the New York football they're team. They're like, they're like I ninety five. Yeah, yeah, always under construction. <laughs> the Jets are like always under yeah. construction. No, it's great. It's it's I love under it. construction on my way here. But anyway, moving yeah. moving on with the whole aspect of sports, which is why we're here doing this beautiful show we have. Mm. Um, beautiful show. It is beautiful. to end to end things off. The hockey career said goodbye to a. Uh, very, very well-known and powerful name in the sport, Doc Emmerich. He is officially ending his career as the voice of hockey. Just a quick little point I wanted to touch on before we kind of wrap things up. What do we think of that legend kind of stepping away from his respective sport? I mean, that guy's got a voice like nobody else. You know, one of those unique voices, mm-hmm. like in Scully. Almost as unique or, as Solomon's. Or Solomon the Wise. Yes. I've Shout out Solomon. Solomon Brandle. Shout out Solomon yeah, the yeah. Wise. Um, and JPL. Oh, it's going to be weird. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like, you know, on the equivalent of Vince Scully retiring. Pretty much. It's going to yeah. be like almost like a missing piece when you yeah. watch games now. Yeah. yeah. You're going to you're gonna be waiting for that, like all those you exciting. Grew up with, uh, Emmerich. Yes. You know? yeah. I was going to say, you probably, you, probably got the, you probably got the prime time, Doc. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How it was, was that? Great. It was great to watch. I mean, he always had this presence that he, would, that, that he made uh, hockey this. Um, I don't even know how to how to put it, but it was always so exciting to watch when mm. he was announced. Right. Yeah. It's he, just like you felt like you were under, you were take, being taken care of. Yeah. He he had so much passion. Yeah. He had so yeah. much passion, excitement. He made the game interesting and yep. something like hockey where it's fast paced. He did it to perfection oh, almost every right, night, yeah. night yeah. in, night out. Definitely whatever game hard, he was calling, one of the hardest he games was, to call. He was Ho- he was making that. Oh, sound yeah. effortless. Yeah. Hockey. Regardless of the team playing, like mm-hmm. he showed no favoritism, nope. had all that enthusiasm. Oh. And just I think made the, the best overall part. experience of the game just yeah, that much 100%. better. Yeah. yeah, a hockey purist. Hockey yeah, purist. Yep. oh for sure. But actually, before we do log on out of here, JPO did want to touch up on some hot early NBA trade rumors. Aha! Uh-huh. Oh, let's yes. do it. Yeah. Okay. What are we thinking? What do they got? What's out in the world right JPO. now? Well, I mean, we're looking at obviously the biggest name in talks right now is Giannis. Yep. Right. The, the two front runners are the Heat and the Mavs. Wow. From what I've heard yeah. so far. What do you guys think about that? Out of those two, if that is. Or do you think he's just going to stay with the Bucks? I mean, yeah. that's always an option, too, I obviously. 
It's too, it's too early to tell. I can see him going to Miami, though. I can see him. He fits in that culture. He fits in that culture. Tam's so. first day, everybody. Sorry. I hate this fucking mic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So That's just where it needs to go. That's literally perfect right there. Okay. Looks good. Sounds All you had to good. say was just put it up here. I mean, I figured you're looking around. You see people's mics fight, in front yeah. of their faces. Fight, fight, fight. So the <laughs> heat was what? <laughs> what do you think, Pete? I, think I, would, I would say, like, we had this discussion, and I would say the heat is the actual perfect fit for a guy like Giannis in the sense of they have the young guys, they have the, the talent, mm-hmm. you know, they have the different aspects of the game that you need. And I think – The culture. The, yeah, it's the culture. I just – I think – Giannis needs to make that decision. He cannot stay in Milwaukee. I don't think that's right. the answer for him, especially in the type of caliber player he is. He needs to win now. Yeah, there's really no options. So who goes to the Bucks to cover that? And and do they? Nobody. I mean, they're going to fall be off a, the yeah. face. Yeah. Of yeah. Oh off. yeah, I think dude. they go into a heavy rebuild if he yeah. does leave. It's over. Um, I think it's time for that. Yeah, I think it's I think they work. they made their moves. Yep. Listen, they did everything that they can to yeah. try to get that chip there, but yep. it just wasn't working it just sucked you know it was it's tough because they 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 had jabari and jabari was supposed to be that dude second overall pick from duke you know like that that was supposed to be his pippin he just didn't pan out didn't pan out he couldn't stay healthy you know and then they they tried to do a bootleg version with chris middleton yeah and it's just like yeah it's just not it dude you can't even get out the second round in the east with no lebron come on yeah come on and what do you think is going to happen with like the Clippers, the Sixers, like what, and the Rockets? There's got to be some really big moves yeah. in those three teams. So do you, yeah, Dale be. Dale Morey's out. Dale Morey's out. Daryl yep. Morey, he's out. Yep. You've heard it. I, I don't think they're going to get rid of James. If they do, I, I I I'd be a little surprised. But Russell's definitely out of there. Yeah. Oh Probably. yeah. Absolutely. Unless they could get a lot for Harden. Well, they would need a they would need a big. If they do keep, yeah, they're, so, they're such a small. They have team. they have no big, and that was their problem. They played small ball in the bubble. Yeah, right? like yeah. with yeah. a six foot seven center, yeah, small four. You can't you can't Covington. win like that. But the new guys that are coming in to coach and, and GM the uh, the Rockets, they're probably they have gonna no have the same mentality tie, tie to James. They don't have any yeah. tie to any of the players. So right. maybe right. a complete like redo of the way they're. Yep, so same. so it depends on the coach that they get. Right on how they're going to go forward. Yep. I think that could be the case for a lot of teams moving forward in the sense of if they can keep their stars and then add that other piece, they're in business. But if they can't keep both of them mm-hmm. and then you also have a new coach coming in on top of it, mm-hmm. yeah. that's when the whole, all right, maybe we got to revamp. Yeah, and maybe and even James re-branding. even says, I don't want to be here. I don't want to rebuild anymore. Right. Like, send me somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me to the Clippers. He's, I mean, he's, he's getting up there in age. Yeah, he's like 30, so it's like, 32. Yeah. yeah, so it's like he, if he does want a championship, he has to go somewhere, now, which he absolutely. doesn't have to do everything because um, he's just not at that point in his career anymore. So where does he go? Damn. Does he go to the Clippers? I, I was thinking that. Because Paul George is gone, probably gone, <sighs> don't you think? No. Nah. I don't know. No? I don't, I don't think, think so. you can make that big of a splash and then let him go after. They'll probably a year. more or less have the same one more team. year, at least really? one more year with Paul George. He, you got to see if he's actually. We got to hear what happened. I, it, it, is it? I feel like he had an injury. I think it's. I feel like. No, it, I think it's more mental than anything. Dude, he might have got the yips. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. yeah. He needs the crowd. And then the Sixers. Oh, God. And he moves there. James, Sixers got that'd be cool. Ben, I mean, ben or, yeah. or, or uh, Embiid. I always wanted Embiid to go to Miami, but now if Giannis is good, so I don't does, want so does Embiid there. go nah. to to the to the uh, Rockets? Oh, or, or what? I heard Golden State for Joel. Possibly. Yeah, I've been hearing that too. That'd be but, but, up. but I just read. I just saw somewhere. Um, Golden State is actually in the best position to get Giannis. Mm. They, yeah, they, they are. can offer the best trade for Giannis. Yeah, because they so, have the two. Yep. They have the number two pick. Yeah. yeah. Which is Imagine which they want to they want to shop anyway. Yeah. They don't really yeah, want to yeah, make yeah. that pick because they yeah. have Clay coming back. They have yeah, Steph coming back. Do they back. keep both of those guys? Yeah. Oh yeah. I would say so. Oh yeah. Keeping Clay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. They've right. they've won you too many games and too many championships for you not to keep those yeah. two. And they're hungry. They're gonna come uh, they're gonna come back next year. Oh, they're pissed. Right. The league is oh, gonna be flipped upside down because uh, you got Durant. Coming back. You got those two guys coming back. It'll be I mean, exciting. Kyrie. Just those three. Kyrie, Kyrie hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. No, he'll be, yeah, he'll be ready. Yeah, but he, you, never, you never know. He sat out because cause he's, he's a little baby. Kind of, yeah. He's he such a walk, baby. He has to walk around the flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's bigger things. <laughs> yeah, he's got more important things, right, yeah. Tev? He's, he's got to find the, the cutoff point for the end of the so earth. Why, what do you guys bro? think the Grizzlies are going to do? You, you need to get a star around John Morant. You need you an older. To. You have dude, to. Yeah, an older. older star. Yes. Yeah. Maybe a Harden. To. That could be interesting. That would be sick. Harden actually. and John. Harden? What? Or now that? J- dude, or even a Giannis. I never thought of that. Yeah. yeah. If they could, if they could somehow put a package together to reel Giannis into there. Yeah. yeah. yeah but Memphis, yeah. No, are, but I'm, uh, I'm saying, think about it though. Back. Think about it. Yeah. Ja. And um, Jackson, Jaron Jackson, Jackson, and your boy, and then Giannis. Well, who are they going to trade away Clark. to get Giannis? They got to trade Jaron Jack- Jackson, Clark, and, Clark. and all that. They got to yeah. get rid of those. And I don't think they're not in the mentality. That team's not in the mentality of trading away yes. the young guys. No, they want right. to build that. Young right. Team. Yeah. Yep. No. Yep. So you you would need a guy like James Harden or somebody whose contract is up that you can kind of just throw yeah. money at and yeah. hope that they make the decision to come to your team. But that would be sick. Oh God. Get fucking rid of Dylan Brooks. Yep. Get rid of the uh, the other dude, um, Anderson. And, slow-mo. Uh, yep, slow-mo. Kyle Anderson. And uh, you could even throw, what's his name, from Dookie, your boy. You love him. Uh, Who? Uh, what's his name? Ta- uh, huh? No, not Reddick. Uh, Are you talking about from the Grizzlies? Um, it, he was the point guard on Duke, like, for the past four oh, years. Oh, Grayson Allen. Thank yeah. you. Oh, Jesus my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about, I forgot yeah, you're going to have to get gotta throw, all Yeah, all of them. Just throw them. Whoever is like, what do you want? Take Grayson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see what he Grayson's does. Grayson's like running, running to catch up. He's <laughs> like, I'm coming, guys. He's still doing worry. sprints, getting ready. Yeah, he's good. He's a good shooter. Yeah. Though. Oh, he's a sharp shooter. And he's athletic yeah. fudge. Yep. He, I mean, he was good at Duke, too. He yeah. was. He was pretty dominant, although everybody hated him. Yeah, no, he yeah. was. I just he didn't think dominant. he would carry it over. Thoughts on Kevin Porter Jr.? Real quick, just throwing that out there. Kevin Anybody? Porter, yeah, on the on the Cavs, you guys. I I like him. No? He's got that lengthy body. He's yeah. athletic. All right. Um, I I don't have anything against him. I don't know really too much about him at the same time though. So yeah, I can't well, really. Then attest. we'll keep it moving. We're we're gonna. I'm just gonna ask one more thing because I think that's the it's the most sought after question is uh, what the Nuggets are gonna do. <laughs> with Bull Bull. <laughs> I know. Seriously. I, me, Mike, and Mike, me and Mike's conversation the whole offseason. Mike, take it. <laughs> he, 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 I think what, what's going to happen is he's going to have a great offseason. They're going to come back, and I think you're going to see him either be a six-man or honestly in that starting lineup. So you don't think that the Nuggets are going to make any moves? You don't think they're going to trade away like Michael Porter Jr.? I, why or, would you? I don't know? think they have to. Why would you, you trade? So? You have a 6'10", potential, like, Super star. beast, yeah. yeah. And then you have a seven three seven four potential beast. So they're going to play tall ball all the way through. I would. It's Do you an, think they're going to make the Joker? A, no, a guard? no, 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 no. I would <laughs> no. put. I would put the Joker. This is what I would do, especially if Bobo gets a little, a little more meat on him in yeah. the off season. Put him at the five. You could flip flop those two five four. They uh, both stretch. Yeah, you can. Jokic could play the five. That's fine, yeah, but I don't but think Bobo Bo Bo should be a five. A five or a four. With his shooting? Why not? It's sick. Yeah. Well, essentially what Denver this is the needs new to league. do is they need to spread the That's floor true. more. It's a new league. Because if this you saw a... it, they were getting all tangled up with the whole Jamal Murray and yeah. Jokic going back and forth with each They're other. Doing yeah. Which, which is the problem. Which the is whole why, time, yeah. Which is why Michael Porter and Bobo Bo yeah. need to start. Michael Porter them, said it. And like spread the court so that they can kind of – Maneuver side to side and keep the ball moving that Dude, way rather than just you, you, pick roll instead yeah. of and yeah. redoing it the and same even thing if it, every time. And yeah. even if that does happen between those two, Murray and Jokic, and it doesn't work, guess what? You throw the ball the other side and have those two do it real quick. You know, instead of just it's yeah. like just too much because it shows that you can win games with two two really good superstars yeah. on your team, but you can't win a championship with just the two. Exactly, guys. No. and you right. saw that. Right. Yep. I mean, you saw that when they played the Lakers. Yeah. It was it was raps. It was way too much for them to handle. Michael Porter Jr. shouldn't have said that on camera the way he did. But right, he was right. He was correct. Yeah, correct. I agree. He should have approached that in a behind the scenes type matter yeah. in the locker room after. I just get nervous because that might have like started a little division between him and the team. That's why I said that. I don't know. I think possibly he's young. It could anything have. can grow. I don't think Denver really needs to make moves with the team no, that they have now. If Rudy think, Gobert uh, and Donovan Mitchell could rehabilitate their relationship, I think. But is it though? <laughs> I think it is. I don't think it's bad. Yeah. I th- they seem pretty happy at, at, at the end of that run they made. Okay. You know, and Donovan's choosing to stay. Uh, I, don't even I mean, that decision that. pretty much. 
That pissed me off. That it. really pissed me off that he's staying there. It's trash. Like, yeah. what are you doing? He deserves to be in New York on a contending team as well. <laughs> Put him on the I don't Knicks. know about that. He's from Greenwich. I, he's from I Greenwich, know, Connecticut. I know that, you don't know I don't, that. I don't know about. You don't know. I don't that. know about wishing it him to go to the Knicks. Is really maybe he thing. goes to the Grizzlies. That would be nice. Oh. That would be cool. That would be sick. Him and Ja would be fire. and Jaron. Oh my God! As our big man, I love him. And Brandon athletic. Clark, yeah. and Brandon Clark, the most athletic man on the team. Then you get yeah. to keep and Grayson. Huh? Get to keep Grayson. You get to keep Grayson. Yeah, and he's just I gonna mean, keep banging that? those threes. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And pissing off opposing teams, <laughs> fans, right. tripping everybody. All right, we yeah. Can, we can hey, continue with this that, all day if we want. Exactly. To. <laughs> with that being said, great points to end on. Yes. Everybody, thank you guys for tuning in to episode five. Gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your day. Guys, we will see you again on Friday for episode six. Peace. 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 What's poppin'? Uh, she a rebound, no robin'. Word? She look better when she topless. Hey. Don't be mad, I'm being honest. I'ma keep on drinking, I ain't stopping. I'm on a roll, can't stop it. Stop it. No backing out, I'm locked in. Locked. No key to my heart, I locked it. Locked it. Don't trust